Welcome to the channel of Whiteboard Doctor. Today we're doing a 5-minute EKG video on benign early repolarization or a benign early repol. Uh, this is one of the things early on in clinical training that you feel very uncomfortable with. You're like, oh no, I think they may be having a STEMI. And then uh, your staff says, no, 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 calm down, lad. It's just a benign early repol. So what is it? Uh, benign early repulls can be often seen in like young, healthy, less than 50 year olds. Uh, the pathophys is a little non-specific. It is essentially a, a benign difference in kind of the endocardial and subcardial layers um, that causes this uh, benign change in repolarization that can manifest as what looks like ST elevations on EKG. So to start, I just kind of wanted to talk about with several suggestive criteria. So uh, essentially benign early repo, you get this widespread, it's a long word, uh, widespread concave ST segments that are elevated, right? So widespread concave ST segment elevation. And it's most prominent, it's most easy to see in V2 through V5. So some of your precordial leads there, the anterior ones. Um, a key here is concavity, so these should be, and I'll go over what all this means, um, these all should be concave um, upsloping of the ST segment rather than convex. Um, you often get this notching or slurring of the J point, right, J point. Uh, and just remember the J point, this is the termination of the QRS in the beginning of the ST segment. Uh, you want your T waves concordant with your QRS. No reciprocal ST depressions, right? That'd be more concerning for ischemia. Reciprocal? Check that spelling. No reciprocal ST depressions um, other than AVR, right? AVR, given its location, is always reciprocal. Uh, and then you don't want any dynamic changes over time. So this should not be a uh, when you get a repeat EKG in 15 minutes, it should not be an evolving um, thing. It should be stagnant and stable, so no dynamic changes. Um, sorry, that is my shorthand for changes, but that doesn't mean anything to you all. No dynamic changes over time. So let's look at this EKG of benign early repul. Um, and we'll kind of start looking at our criteria. So you might first glance at this EKG and say, oh, no, we have like a, let me get a different color. A box of elevation, maybe a half box elevation, a half box elevation, box of elevation, box of elevation. And you're talking here and you're like, it could be a STEMI. We have a bunch of boxes of elevation. Um, some EKGs are even more impressive with this, with their elevation. But this is when we dive in deep and go, well, is it just benign early repul? So say this is a 30-year-old male um, just coming in with what sounds like musculoskeletal chest pain, um, we look at our criteria for benign early repul. So is there widespread concave XT segment elevation? Most apparent in V2 through V5. So let's start with V2 through V5. That's V1. Good for me. We're doing great today. Um, let's start with V2 through V5. So V2, 3, 4, 5. In this EKG in particular, you can see this concave, right, right here, I'll trace it. So it's concave. I guess for those of you who don't know, concave looks like this, whereas convex looks like this. This is bad. Concave is okay. So these ST elevations are concave. They're upsloping, um, which is reassuring. Um, sometimes with convex, people talk about tombstone, which is, uh, you know, concerning for STEMI when you have your QR. ST elevation, it's a big tombstone like this. It's convex and it's bad. All right, so they're concave, upsloping, most apparent in V2, 3, 4, and 5, your anterior precordial leads. The other thing it talks about is this J point, this notching. Um, so the J point is this area here, right? It's where the QRS meets the ST. And you see how you get this notched segment that isn't present on a normal EKG? This notch segment right here, 
let me see if I can point to it for you and erase this again. I'm just trying to show you in multiple ways to make sure you see what I'm talking about. It's this right here is the J. You get this notched J. So you essentially, right, you have your QRS, then you have this notched J and this upsloping STJ, and then this upsloping ST here. So you have your J point and upsloping ST, which is what it shows right here, right? And that is also consistent with benign early repull. Uh, T waves um, should be concordant with your QRSs, right? You got all these upright T waves, and you shouldn't have any ST depression other than in AVR, which is very typical, right? Um, AVR always does opposite things, so there's actually no ST depression here, but this would be okay if there is a little bit of ST depression. Um, you don't want any dynamic changes, so if you repeated this EKG and you started to see all these dynamic changes in your anterior precordial leads and these segments were starting to become more and more uh, elevated, that would be concerning too. But in your young, healthy, often males, if you get this pattern of diffuse concave ST elevation with a notched or slurred J point that is very consistent with benign early repolarization. There shouldn't be any dynamic changes over time. Um, this can be confused with pericarditis, and I can do uh, another video on the difference between the two. If y'all would like me to, let me know. Um, but um, in this instance, um, you see these widespread concave ST segment elevations most prominent in the anterior precordial leads with a notch and slurred J point. That is very consistent with benign early repull. So that was a quick one. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what questions, comments, concerns you may have. Let me know what videos you want me to make. Um, and hit subscribe. Check out some other ones. Do whatever you'd like. Have a good day now.